Hi and welcome to the part 6 of the wireless hacking series by 11hacker.com. I am John. Today we will have a look at Beacon Frame. So in this video we will analyze Beacon Frames using tools available in Kali Linux. So in my previous video I just mentioned about the different types of WLAN frames. So to give you a revision I just took the last two slides from my previous video. So there are three major types of WLAN frames that we are interested. They are management frames data frames and control frames each of these frames have subtypes to get more information about different types of WLAN frames and their subtypes you can check out this wikipedia link given in the slides so as far as management frames is concerned they have 12 subtypes so in this video we will have a look at beacon frames so beacon frame is one of the subtypes of management frame Beacon frames are transmitted by access points to announce its presence in an area. Beacon frames contain information about the network name, uh, basically the SSID. It also gives you the access point capabilities, configuration and security information. So the security information is basically it will tell you whether it is an open access point or a web encrypted access point or a WPA but WPA2 personal or enterprise access point client uses this information that it gets from a beacon frame and shows the various access points and its security settings in your network manager so the client uh, uses this information that it gets from beacon frame and shows you in the network manager so in this lab session we will analyze beacon frames using wireshark so what I've done is I've already logged into my Kali box and I've also connected my wireless card. So if I do an IW config, I should see the wireless interface, which is WLAN 0 in my case. So let me first put my card into monitor mode so that I can start sniffing. To do that, I'll use Airmon ng and then say start and then my interface, which is WLAN 0. So this will go and create a monitor interface called Mon0. So now let me fire up my Wireshark start sniffing the mon0 interface so let me just start so this will start uh, capturing all the packets in the air so let me just stop the uh, capture so now to just uh, look at beacon frames what we can do is we can go and filter the only beacon frames to do that let's go and click on any beacon frame then click on this field and then uh, click on the type subtype and right click on it and say apply filter and say select it so what this will do is then let's go and click apply so what this will do is it will only uh, show you only the beacon frames so there are a lot of beacon frames uh, in my area so the one that we are interested in is john this is my access point so if you click on the mac header field uh, you can see that this is a beacon frame here it is also you can also check <coughs> it is also uh, this is this packet is a management frame you can just check that by looking at the frame control field you can see that it is a management frame and subtype 8 which is basically a beacon frame so the uh, Beacon frame number is 8 and the filter for it is 0x08. So you can also get other information by looking at the header of this beacon frame, uh, like the source address, which is basically the access points MAC address, which in this case is 98FC11, C9, 14, and 22. So also you can see the destination address, which is broadcast because beacon frames are broadcast. Um, you can also get other information by looking at the flags which we will have a look in later videos as of now uh, let's look at the beacon frame body so that they have two fields here the fixed parameter uh, which will give you the uh, interval which is 0 0.01 seconds that the access point goes and transmits the uh, beacon frame you can also look at the various capabilities of the access point. If you just click on this field, uh, you can see 
that it says ESS capabilities is is basically transmitted by an AP and it's is it's equal to one, which means true. So this peak and frame is transmitted by an access point and not a computer or a laptop. And the IBSS status is zero, which is basically adopt mode is false because this is transmitted by an access point and not a computer. You can also see other information like the uh, access point can support web and other information. So if you look in the tag parameters list, the first field is SSID parameter. You just click on it. You can see that uh, the SSID name is John, which is the access point name. If you look at the supported rates, uh, these are the uh, transfer rates that the access point supports. So other inform uh, interesting information is like this one, which is it says it's a uh, uh, but just looking at the beacon frame, we can say that it is whether a WPA or a WPA2 or a open or a web access point. In this case, this is a WPA2 access point. Um, you can verify it by just saying the WPA field and the RSN information. So if it's a WPA2 personal, you should see these two fields. And uh, just click on it. You can see the auth key is PSK, which is preset key, and that is why it is a WPA2 personal. In case if it's a WPA2 enterprise, you will see WPA right over here. And the access point also supports WPS, which is basically Wi Fi protected setup. So let's just go and take another access point. Let's go and take home <coughs> as an example and see about, uh, whether this is a WPA or a WPA2 access point. So you don't see the RSN information in this access point and this suggests that it is a WPA access point uh, what we should verify now it is whether it is a WPA personal or a WPA enterprise and um, you can see the auth key is PSK which is preset key and it is so this is a WPA personal access point so let's go and take another access point let's go and take um, Airtel as an example. Now let's go and just look at the tag parameters list. So you don't see the uh, WP information or the RSN information. So this suggests that it is whether a, it is either an open access point or a web encrypted access point. So if you look at the capabilities, you should see uh, it says it supports web, and then it is a web encrypted access point. So if you see zero over here, then it is an open access point. So let's go and take this um, beacon frame which is broadcast so this is a security feature that is there in your router which is basically says that don't broadcast your name I mean basically the SSID name so this is called the hidden access point uh, so you, if you click on the just a second I have a small problem with my screen just shut down abruptly So if you look at the um, tag, I mean tag parameters, and if you look at the SSID parameter set, it will say there is no name. So this suggests that this access point uh, has a security feature called the Mac. I mean, uh, don't broadcast the name of the access point. So let's have a look at uh, the security, whether it is an open area open access point or a web encrypted access point so if you just look at the capability information you will see zero right here so this suggests that this is an open access point so by just looking at the beacon frame you can find out whether it is a web or a WPA or a WPA2 access point so the easy way to find out whether it is a open or a web access point is by using a tool called AeroDumpNG so what you will do is use AeroDumpNG and say uh, given the mon zero interface what this will do is it will scan all the access points that are in our area and also it will find out all the clients also in our area so you can see uh, there are a lot of access points in our in my area let me just go and stop the capture so you can these are the access points and these are the clients in my area uh, <coughs> let's correlate the 
stuff that we did in <coughs> the Wireshark analysis. So I first analyzed access point named John. So you can see here it is a WPA2 uh, personal pre shared key, the authentication type. The next one that I analyzed was home, which in case was a WPA2, I mean sorry, WPA personal. And you can see here WPA personal here. Authentication is PSK. And we also analyzed Airtel. Let's have a look. That it was web. And we also analyzed one of the dot I mean hidden access IDs and that was an open access one. You can clearly see here uh, that this is an open access one. So by using arrow dumpng you can easily find out the security settings of a given access point that is in your area. You can also get other information like the um, clients connected to it, stuff like that. So the main point that I wanted to uh, elaborate in this video was uh, to how to use tools uh, like AeroDumpNG or use just Wireshark to find out whether the, the access point is an open or a web encrypted or WPA or a WPA2 access point. So the points to note is beacon frames can be easily spoofed. We will learn how to spoof beacon frames in later videos. So in my next video, I'll show you how to spoof these beacon frames using tools I'll build in Kali Linux. So that brings us to the final section, which is the exercise and question section. So you can analyze beacon frames using Wireshark and find out the capabilities, configuration of sec and security information of an AP in your area. So this is the exercise for you. And the question for this video is, how will you find out that the access point has a WPA bar WPA2 enterprise settings by looking at the beacon frame? So I just gave the answer in my video. So if you just watch it, uh, you'll know. So if you know the answer, just post that in the comment section. So that brings us to the end of this video. So I hope this video was informative and helpful. If you have any doubts or queries, you can comment below or you can just mail us at john at 101hacker.com. Thank you for watching.